Packers miss out on UFL standout to division rival. The Green Bay Packers are entering the 2024 season with high hopes following a remarkable 2023 campaign. Rather than remaining complacent, general manager Brian Gutekunst ensured the team made significant additions through both free agency and the NFL draft. In April, the Packers drafted a total of 11 players, complementing two marquee signings made in March. These strategic acquisitions included running back Josh Jacobs and safety Xavier McKinney, aimed at strengthening the squad. On paper, the roster appears solid, with few glaring weaknesses. One notable area of concern is the kicker position, which is currently an open competition between Anders Carlson, Greg Joseph, and Jack Podlesny. Although Carlson seems to have a slight edge over Joseph, the Packers have continued to explore options in the open market. Unfortunately, they missed out on signing a standout kicker from the UFL to a division rival. According to Aaron Wilson of KPRC2, kicker Jake Bates is set to join the Detroit Lions following an impressive season with the Michigan Panthers in the UFL. Bates excelled, making 17 of his 22 field goal attempts, ranking second in the league for the most made kicks. Additionally, Bates demonstrated remarkable range by successfully converting three field goals from beyond 60 yards, including a game-winning 64-yard field goal, the longest in UFL history. Bates had visits with both the Packers and the Washington Commanders before ultimately deciding to stay in Michigan and sign with the Lions. This move suggests that the Packers were not entirely confident in Carlson, prompting them to bring in additional kickers this offseason. Last season, Carlson made 27 of his 33 field goal attempts but struggled from longer distances, going 4 of 8 from 40 to 49 yards and 3 of 5 from beyond 50 yards. His missed 41-yard field goal in the playoff loss to the San Francisco 49ers proved costly, as it prevented the Packers from extending their lead by 7 points with 6 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Packers eventually lost the game 27-24. Recognizing the uncertainty surrounding their kicker situation, the Packers actively pursued Bates. However, their efforts fell short, and they will now face him twice a year as he suits up for a division rival. This outcome underscores the importance of finding a reliable kicker as the Packers aim to build on their previous season's success.